Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this uh, live stream over on uh, Twitch. If you're watching from YouTube, this is the replay from my live stream on Twitch. So next time, make sure also to join our live stream. You find my channel on Twitch down below here in the video description. Here you can also subscribe to my Twitch channel. As you know, we still are doing the live streams on Twitch since there is still this YouTube purge going on. So let's have a look what is going on right now because today we had a nice breakout from this little wedge that we had here in the Bitcoin price. And um, now the big question is, are we in a bull run right now? Are we just breaking through important resistances and will we go towards 20k in the next couple of hours or days and if you want to know my opinion then watch this video because in my opinion we are not going to 20k right now at least it's not yet confirmed the good thing is that we had a nice breakout here to the upside and also in the one hour time frame you can see that we had also some nice volume that came in here and this is just a little uh, sign of uh, what could happen pretty soon if we are also able to take out this resistance up here we will go later into the di daily time frame so i will show you exactly why i think this is the more important resistance here to get broken here um, but at least here for the lower time frames it looks like that we are gearing up here for uh, maybe continuation to the upside towards $11,150, let's see. But currently what I want to see is first a confirmation that the previous resistance, so this $10,800 is our new support. And what we are seeing right now in the lower time frames is that the price after this nice run up here, um, let's take a, away here the volume. Uh, we have currently the RSI in overbought condition. We are at the 80s level and also you can see that we have a, um, in the one hour a lower high and in the price we have a higher high. So that is a bearish divergence and currently we could see this possible confirmation of $10,800. So what I think will happen next is that we most likely will come down here to test the $10,800 and from there if we get the confirmation if we're closing hour and four hourly candles above $10,800 that we will be trading here for the next couple of hours and days most likely between $10,800 and $11,150. Currently, I had uh, a small a short open here at 10,877. I just came back to my computer right now and I just go live. I didn't check the chart yet. I just open up here a short position uh, with some tether. Currently, I'm not using uh, too much uh, bitcoins because I still have here some tether on, uh, tether on a Bybit and I'm using this uh, currently to multiply it for the case that we will go lower towards 9k so I can buy even more with even more tether and here in the one hour I still think we will see this possible bearish divergence playing out pretty soon but this is just for the lower time frame so it is possible that we will just have a confirmation of $10,800 support hopefully it will hold otherwise if we're gonna trade lower than $10,800 then prepare to come back into this triangle and then most likely also test here this 10,500 again but currently it looks like we're gonna see continuation to the upside especially if 10,800 is gonna get confirmed but uh, since we have now this little bearish divergence in one hour I think right now in the next couple of hours we will see this possible test down here and uh, yeah otherwise of course uh, in the lower time frames here like the Bollinger Band it, it was uh, clear that we're gonna overshooting it to the upside or downside to one or the other direction because we were in this tiny little channel here and currently of course we had this nice breakout to the upside and right now we could see a possible retracement back down here between 10,800 maybe even towards 10,700 before we continue to the upside but we have to wait and wait for the confirmation here of ten thousand eight hundred dollar and now let's go over to the four hour because here if we zoom out a bit you can see that also here we are getting into overbought condition in the rsi but we still have some room left to the upside and now 
why I say room left to the upside is because we could in theory go up here to test 11,130 pretty soon, maybe after $10,800 is getting reached and we're gonna see a bounce from it that we will go up here to 11,150. And I think this is the more important resistance to get broken because uh, if we go back in time here when we topped out at $12,500 and then created here a lower high of 12,000, we have this uh, trend line here, this uh, blue line, uh, which is trending to the downside. So I'm not pretty convinced currently with this breakout that we have now the bull run confirmed that will take us at least towards $12,500 and possibly even higher, maybe even towards 16,000 or 20,000. Because as long as we are creating this lower high uh, here, I think it is very likely that we're gonna stay in this uh, region here bouncing up and down here before we're gonna see a possible big breakout to the upside. At least this is my expectation. Um, and this is only the scenario if we are getting rejected here where we are right now or up here at 11,150. If we are able to go back again towards 12K and retest these tops that we had here, then this scenario will not play out. Then we have to consider a different scenario. But for now, what we're seeing right now with the price is a possible, I think a possible um, falling wedge here with the support here along our main uh, support that we have here, this red line here, if you go over into the daily, you can see it was our main resistance in the past. So it came up from 20,000, then 14,000, then we had here 10,430, and then we had here the breakout to the upside. And so far we didn't really come back down here to test this support. We came once here very close, but we didn't touch it. Uh, we can say it, it, this is almost a, a confirmation that this is the new support, but it is very likely that we will come once more down here to test this area, close the CME gap at 9,600 and also test the 200 daily moving average before we're going to see a big breakout here to the upside, which take us then at least towards $12,500 again. And then most likely we're gonna see continuation even higher towards uh, 15, 16 and $20,000. The good thing here in the daily is that currently we are coming again above the 50 level in the RSI and we have a lot of room left to the upside. So it is possible that we're gonna see something uh, like this, like a breakout to the upside here uh, with this move. But in my opinion, only if we come down to test $10,800 and get the confirmation that this is our new support and then maybe then gonna have a big breakout to the upside. But I still think there is a very high chance that we will see here first some chopping around here um, with the resistance that is coming down here with this blue line right now at around $11,100 and then at the end gonna see a big breakout to the upside. This is at least my expectation unless we're coming right now down to $10,800, test the support and then continue to break out here from this $11,150. So this move that we have seen today of course is very bullish and this is also what we should be prepared to see in the next parabolic run here in Bitcoin that we will have moves like this. I mean, if you zoom out, it's not really a big move, but it was an important move since we were in this consolidation wedge now for uh, many days. So this move to the upside was bullish, but that doesn't mean that we will go straight up to 20K right now. We also have to consider here the lower time frames and also see what will happen once you're coming down to test $10,800. So all in all, this move is quite bullish yet, but we are not out of the woods yet. Next resistance is up here at 11,150. And as long as we are not breaking here, this resistance and also take out the $12,500 level, I think uh, there is still a high chance that we will go uh, lower towards even 9K. This bearish scenario is still in the cards, even though uh, this breakout that we had right now, of course, is very, uh, bullish but watch out for pullbacks and also for confirmations because the one hour currently is looking a bit exhausted so here we could have a possible ten thousand eight hundred dollar retest and there is where we're gonna see if uh, we're gonna see big continuation of this breakout or if this uh, was already it the the pump and we will come straight back down 
And uh, yeah, since currently I have a little bit of tether on the sideline, I put this short trade here with 0 0.155 bitcoins. And over here, I'm not in a trade yet. So uh, here I'm waiting to enter a new trade. But um, of course, uh, you can um, also scalp, of course, if you think we're coming down now to 10,800 and you see that we're gonna uh, get support here, you can short it down to this level and then reopen a new long position if you see that we're getting supported here. And um, what I want to see is also here the 20 moving average in one hour coming up here towards $10,800 because if we see continuation to the upside, the 20 moving average in the one hour could be a nice support trend line a moving average that we could bounce off uh, on the way up here towards $11,100 but this is what we're gonna have to see once we're gonna have here a little pullback towards the 20 moving average and towards the $10,800 if we go over here into the four hour you can see that the 20 moving average is still down here at $10,700 and that's why I told you my friend if we see a pullback then watch out for these two price levels which is also coinciding here with these two moving averages in the Bollinger Band, the middle line here of $10,700 and $10,800. So if you think that this breakout is a valid breakout and we will go for sure to $11,100 before we're gonna have a major correction or maybe even higher, then watch out for these two price levels, $10,800 and $10,700. If you want to open up a long position, Currently, I think it's too late to open up a new long position um, at this stage. If you opened it up here at the breakout, then congratulations, of course. You can put a stop loss or uh, scale in more longs if the price is coming down to these levels again. But uh, if you are not in a trade right now, then maybe wait here till we get this confirmation. At least this is um, what I'm going to do. And that's why uh, I took also this little short here just in case that we're coming down to test this $10,800 because there if I see that we're gonna have a bounce I swap over into a long position to ride it up at least towards $11,000 and uh, if we are not coming down to this level right now then anyway I will not open up right now a new long position because uh, as I told you um, I was not on my computer when this uh, breakout happened so I'm trying to scalp here a little bit in case that we have now this uh, confirmation that 10,000 is the new support. Very, very important. So that's why this move was very important, but it's not yet a complete confirmation that we are in a bull run and all the resistances are gone. So this was the first step. Now we have to see if the next steps are also going to be successful. And I was just curious to see what the DXY is doing because uh yeah we had here uh, another rejection from the 200 moving average in the one hour and we came uh, straight back down here to the blue trend line that we still have here i didn't change this line at all uh since um since i connected it from here to this point and as long as the dxy is respecting this blue line and is fighting here this resistance up here there is still a very high chance that we could have a breakout here to the upside in the dxy and then of course a big dump in the bitcoin price but i think as soon as the dxy or if the dxy is going to lose here this 9360 dollar support and uh, possibly crash down here towards 9110 we're gonna see a big, big uh, spike up in the Bitcoin price, like at least towards $12,500 if the DXY is falling off the cliff here. But this is what we're gonna have to see um, once we're gonna have here more price action on the DXY. All right, guys, so this was just my little uh, short update on what is going on right now. The breakout is legit, of course, but in order to see also continuation to the upside, because the breakout happened already, and in order to get confirmation that we will see continuation to the upside, we need to wait till the price is coming down to $10,800, and there is where we're going to see if we're going to see continuation towards 11150 and maybe also break it or not. But what, right now what is happening is what I was expecting that most likely we're gonna see here this uh, pullback towards 10.8 or 10.7. So watch out for this price action in the next couple of hours if you want to enter a trade. And remember, 
If you want to open up a trading account on Bybit, for example, or Femex or also Bityard, then make sure to use the links that you find down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get some sign up bonus, even up to $538. And with this money, you can start to trade here completely riskless. So, for example, this um, trade that I have opened here with uh, uh, 0 0.155 Bitcoin is with free tether that uh, I got here from Bybit during the competition and also through the um, rewards hub mm -hmm. that they have. All right, guys, so this was a small update on what is going on right now. Make sure to subscribe here on Twitch and also on YouTube uh, to my channel. I do daily TA videos and um, tomorrow we're going to do the daily TA update, of course, uh, and then also we're going to see uh, where we are in the price because what I'm expecting in the next couple of hours is here a pullback because of this one hour bearish divergence and also to get this 10,800 confirmed and there if we're gonna have a bounce to the upside then watch out here for 11,150 this is gonna be the next uh, major resistance before we can say yes we are now in a confirmed beginning of a big bull run and as I showed you at the beginning of this video, my scenario, at least for the next couple of uh, days, is that we will trade within this range here and then have a clear big breakout to the upside. This is at least what I think is going to do. But if right now we are breaking out from this uh, um, $11,100 resistance, then I think we will see $12,500 very soon again and possibly even go higher. All right, guys, and with that said, I'm going to wrap it up. If you missed the live stream, watch the replay over on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much also for all your support or all your likes. And also shout out to the great community that we have over on Discord. Thank you very much, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.